Hello friends and welcome, welcome to a special, special episode. In uh, this episode, I will look at uh, different Pelican models and I will be focusing on the Pelican M series. The Pelican M stands for the fountain pens made by Pelican that have an integrated piston filling mechanism. And I have some uh, fountain pens from uh, different uh, periods of time and uh, we will compare them and we will see what has changed in their design over time. So first of all, I will present them all to you. In this beautiful green metallic box, let me start with them. I have here a Pelican M800, but it's not an ordinary Pelican M800, we will talk about it. I have also a Pelican M400, and here I have a Pelican M200. Okay, let me put this here, and in this black box, I have a Pelican M150, a Pelican M200, and I believe I have another Pelican, and I'm not so sure what uh, size this is. Yes, I think it's another uh, Pelican M200. Okay, let me take the beautiful boxes out of the picture because I want to focus on the fountain pens that uh, we have on here. Let me start with the biggest of all. This is a fountain pen that came out of the market from, from uh, 1987. I can tell you for sure that I have here a model from 1987 or 1988 and why do I think it's an early model from the first years of production? So there are several clues and I will start with the most obvious one. And that is this beautiful, beautiful nib. You can see we have, sorry, it has a little bit of water. Okay, we can, you can see we have a 14 carat 585 broad nib. So you must know that uh, this model M800 was produced with this nib only in 1987 and 1988. Uh, unfortunately, here between the grip section and the nib, it lacks a ring. Well, uh, that ring was quite corroded when I bought this fountain pen second hand. And when I did the cleanup, it uh, simply uh, disintegrated. So guys, if you have a model of uh, Pelican Sovran M800, be sure you don't leave it uh, inked with uh, stains on uh, this uh, ring because it could get corroded in time. So every time you fill this up, uh, be careful to wipe it clean and uh, I believe you won't have problems. Okay, guys, so this is one clue. And the second clue is this uh, metallic plating on the end of the turning knob. And of course we have uh, another clue. And we have here on the ring we have Pelican and we see West Germany. This is the beautiful, beautiful logo of this fountain pen. Well, um, in my opinion, this is the perfect sized fountain pen of the M series. Unfortunately, I don't have an M1000, which is uh, even larger than this one. But for uh, balance writing, I prefer the M800. Of course, I love uh, big fountain pens, so maybe one day I will add to my collection an M1000. Okay. So, in the lineup of Souvron fountain pens, let me zoom out, there are different, different sizes of uh, fountain pens. And this is the M800 and this is the M400. 
400 but between them there is an intermediary uh, fountain pen which is known as the M600 unfortunately I don't have an M600 but uh, to give you a comparison it is between uh, this size and this size uh, okay interesting that this M100 is also an um, early version we have also West Germany imprinted on the this ring you can see that the ring is uh, the gold plating of the ring has faded away in some parts and now I'm looking at the clip even the clip at uh, the beak at the top of the beak has the gold plating uh, faded away here we have uh, an engraved logo and I'm saying it's engraved because um, you will see on the other models that this logo is painted. And this beauty also has, let me zoom on it, a beautiful, beautiful gold nib, a 14 karat 585 gold nib. This uh, nib, I believe it's an F nib. And uh, interesting at uh, this model, being an early model, it doesn't have a ring here, a gold ring here. And um, it, it was shortly made uh, before 1997. And I say that because I have some uh, uh, fountain pens here. And as you can see, those two don't have this gold ring and uh, the other ones have this gold ring and it's a perfect uh, explanation for this those which have a gold ring are models produced after 1997 and the other two were produced before 1997 let's look for example at this m200 and let's compare it with a newer M200. Uh, okay, you can see this has two gold rings and this has only one gold ring, but it has an additional gold ring here at the end of the turning knob. And another a difference between them is the logo. You can see this is engraved. Let me zoom for you to have a better understanding so this is engraved with two chicks and this is painted with two chicks okay let me show you uh, another difference is between those two models you can see the color of the um, ink window this is a bluish or a grayish uh color the ink window and this is a green and let me show you the nibs and you can see we have uh two nibs one is in better shape than the other but they are both uh, steel nibs and they are gold plated this uh, i believe are their m nibs yes they are m nibs and um, you can see the difference in time the gold plating will fade away but it depends on how you take care of your products if you clean them after you refill them with ink you shouldn't see those problems of corroding at the end we have the same uh, plastic uh, okay uh, fees let me okay so i don't want to <laughs> uh, i don't want to um yes this one has uh, the gold ring and this has two gold rings on the cap because i believe they are compatible let me test them so if you have a lot of them yes you can definitely put uh, the wrong cap on uh, uh, the uh, on the fountain pen okay and here 
I have two smaller fountain pens. Unfortunately, one of them has um, um, is missing the original clip. If of course the original clip is in this form, a beautiful form of the pelican beak and eyes. This was um, replaced. And you could replace it quite, quite uh, easy by uh, turning this end and uh, simply removing this um, clip. At least the person who changed it, it uh, put also a Germany, a German clip on it. So um, it is what it is. And you can see the ending. It's quite plain. And now I am uh, assembling it back. Okay, and between those models, quite easy to recognize. This is the newer model. It has that uh, ring at the end of the turning knob, and this hasn't the, uh, that ring. So it is the oldest version. And of course, this is West Germany, and this is only Pelican Germany, no West Germany. So this is a model made after 1997. Uh, again, the painted logo with the uh, mother and one cheek, and on the other model, On the other model, we have the engraved logo with the mother with two cheeks. So this being West Germany, it's uh, definitely uh, from um, from the time that uh, then, from the time when uh, West Germany still existed, because after uh, the fall of the Berlin Wall, you know that uh, they unified the two sides okay guys um let's do the writing sample for the writing sample i thought to myself that a pelican 4001 Königsblau or royal blue will do the trick and uh, guys i'm not so sure maybe some of them are filled with ink but uh, we will see about that i will return to do the writing sample so um, guys I think it is fair to use the same ink for every pelican fountain pen in uh, this video for this uh, writing um, sample and uh, I've chosen this pelican 4001 uh, okay here it is I will leave this aside and let me see, I will, um, I will start with this um, M150 uh, pre-97 model. As you can see, the ink window is uh, transparent and uh, we don't have any signs of ink on it. Bear in mind, this is a steel nib. It was at one point plated with gold. But you see that the gold plating has faded away. And uh, we have an F nib. Okay. Open the ink bottle. Turning the piston knob. And now, it's dip it in ink and... I will turn the piston in the other direction. I have here tissue to clean it. Okay, it's cleaned. Uh, okay, remember, I always uh, tell you to put the, to close the bottle of ink, but uh, we have uh, other writing samples. So carefully, I will just put this box here and this here okay let me write with it so i have the pelican pelican m150 this is a post 1997 model it is a steel nib, steel nib, 
it is an F name. And uh, why not? Let me uh, write with it. Maybe a little zoom was um, in order for you to see better. But uh, now I will give the zoom. Okay. And uh, with your permission, I will slightly change the angle of the camera. Okay, that's it. Okay. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog what can i say guys it is an f nib but it writes like an m nib it is what it is i will leave this aside and let me see i will um, why not let me see this model I think it's also an M150, but uh, it's, it is an older model from West Germany. You can see the ink window is transparent. I will put here the bottle of ink. You can see the end of the piston knob. And now I will insert the ink. Okay, remember to use the tissue. So guys, this is a um, steel nib. It's gold plated and it's a broad nib. Let me see how a broad nib performs in comparison with an F nib. So, another pelican M 150 this is pre 1997 West Germany this time we have a steel nib gold plated but a broad nib B4 broad and let me see the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so we definitely see a change between the f and the broad nib okay now i will um try this uh, pre-1997 model of the M200 in this um, uh, beautiful uh, light blue color. As you can see, also the ink window is transparent. Let me see if the piston... Hmm, it... Uh, works it needs a little lubrication and you can hear those um, sounds now i will um, draw the ink you can see the ink being drawn okay and now let's clean it thoroughly so Okay, I will clean it. As you can see, we have a steel gold-plated nib, an M nib. Of course, all the models post quite well. And uh, you can post them if you wish. You can see it posted. But I prefer to leave it unposted. So, this is um, Pelican 
M200 from pre-1997 from West Germany. A steel nib, steel nib, size M. This is quite strange, guys, because um, compare this steel nib with this steel nib, an F nib from uh, the model 90 uh, M150 post 1997, and if this writes like an M, this writes like an F. It's quite strange, but uh, it is what it is. Let me write. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So this was the model M200 pre-1997 with the steel M nib. I will leave this aside. And let me show you an uh, M200 post-1997, it has this ring. And I think that also it has an M nib. And although it is uh, corroded, we, we, we can see the M. You can see it at the base of the nib, M. Also it has the transparent ink window. And... Also, this needs a little bit of lubrication, but we can see the end of the turning knob, yes. I will put the ink bottle here. And I will draw the ink. Yes, the ink is drawn. I will take the tissue. So, guys, the reason for this being so corroded is the owner of it. Uh, didn't clean it properly and um, if you let the ink for a long period of time on your gold plated nib you can surely expect this phenomenon of corroding so it's not a quality issue but uh, it is a simple misuse of a fountain pen okay okay so this is let me a pelican pelican m200 post 1997 it has a steel nib gold plated nib also an m nib I'm sorry guys, you can see a difference in color. I th I th think that this had some residues. So it contaminated uh, my ink with a slight slightly more darker ink. But uh, no problem. The quick brown fox fox jumps over the lazy dog so this was the pelican m200 post 1997 and now let's um, do the writing samples with some gold nibs and this beautiful pelican m400 has a gold nib let me turn the piston knob it definitely needs some lubrication you can see that this model doesn't have the ink window but uh, it's quite transparent you can't see you, you see the piston turning knob and all of it and you can make uh, yourself an idea if the pen is full of ink or it needs to be inked so i believe the ink is in remember to clean it of course this is the advantage of owning a gold nib even if you let the ink on it 
it will never corrode. This is the advantage of uh, gold material used on the ink. I have here the Pelican Pelican M400 and again it writes like uh, a black um, uh, ink but uh, you saw that I uh, give it uh, royal blue ink this is an Fnib I was searching for that you barely can see it is not a blood but an F okay but this model is pre 1997 and it has a 14 carat 585 gold nib and the nib it is an F nib okay let me write so the quick so definitely an ink contamination because you can see it writes black brown fox jumps over the lazy dog this is the reason guys you have to clean your fountain pens especially after you using them powerful colored inks like a um, black one or maybe a dark brown one or a dark blue one no problem and we will pass to the late uh, the last fountain pen and after that um, our short incursion in the pelican m series will be over i must tell you that this is my favorite fountain pen one of my favorite fountain pens okay <laughs> It um, has that beautiful, beautiful 14 carat gold nib. Let me clean it for you to have a better, better look at it. A wonderful, wonderful nib. And I simply like the fact that it is a broad nib. Just look at it. Wonderful, wonderful nib. Now, guys, I will, <laughs> I'm afraid, yes, I will uh, close the ink bottle and leave it here. So, um, guys, because I don't have space here, I will um, simply write some things about it here. So, this is the Pelican. M. 800 and I know for a fact that it's from 1987 or 1988 so the first years of production of this fountain pen and I know that for sure because it is equipped with a 14 14 carat 585 beautiful broad nib and for the writing sample let me see i hope you can see as well okay so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so look at it it is simply simply beautiful it uh, has an even broader nib than um, this uh, 150 i love love the fact that uh, with uh, this type of broad nib you can go into details in the wonderful shade of color you see that on the maybe on this one it looks more um, uh, it looks better but uh, if you have a special special ink use it with a broad pelican um, nib to highlight its uh, beautiful beautiful color so guys uh, there you have it 
those are the writing samples with different different uh, M series pelicans from different periods some with gold nibs other with uh, steel gold plated nibs it was a pleasure to share them with you wherever you are i wish you to have a nice day i uh, thank you for your time if you've enjoyed this uh, little presentation please uh, support my activity by um, subscribing to my channel thank you again for your time i hope i can see you at the next episode and till then bye bye